Last episode, I covered the basics of what each FNAF W entry does, but several of the entries can be exploited in more ways than what I showed, so now we're going to dive into a few nuances. This episode will be focusing on the characters in your party and how much the limits can be pushed before everything breaks. The save file entries we will be looking at here are the 8 S's, Have, Level, and Next. The S's for your party slots can be filled with whatever characters you like, even if you haven't unlocked them. You can even add characters with numbers lower than 1 or higher than 48. These will appear as Freddy. His only attack options are Mike Toss, but throwing it doesn't do anything. The description will be whatever description showed up last, but if there wasn't one, it instead displays Hold R to Run. These false characters will gain XP like regular characters, creating their own level and next entries. They can also be killed in battle, and if revived with a gift box, will continue to fight as a tombstone rather than Freddy. It's also possible to put multiple of the same character on your party. Regular characters will work normally, but you will be allowed to play a duplicate only once before everything breaks. Any duplicate other than the one you just used, will simultaneously spawn a Freddy in attack position, and you will no longer be able to do anything. This Freddy, which we dubbed Schrodinger's Freddy, is completely invincible. Even if your whole party dies, Schrodinger's Freddy will remain, keeping you alive. The only way you can lose is to the Rainbow Cannon. When characters level up, their HP and attack damage increase. HP is determined by the formula 5 times level plus 5 times character number plus 100. Freddy starts at level 0 with 105 HP. Bonnie has 110, Chica has 115, etc. Each level gain adds 5 hit points, so naturally subtracting a level will lose 5 hit points. If you set a character's level too low, HP will go negative, resulting in that character dying immediately upon entering a battle. For example, if you set Freddy to level negative 21, he will spawn with 0 HP and anything below that will be negative. You'd think there would be no maximum. You can set characters' levels ridiculously high, giving them thousands of hit points and making them able to one-shot any opponent. However, there is an invisible limit. The number changes depending on which character you're using, but essentially, once the character's HP has reached the 32-bit signed integer limit, it rolls over into the negatives, and you once again have party members dying immediately. For instance, Freddy's absolute highest level is 429,496,708. Purple Guys is 429,496,661. In casual gameplay, you would never be able to get this high. The formula to determine when a character levels up can be summarized as 10 times current level squared plus 5 times character number plus 10. Props to DJ Sturf for determining this formula. Basically, what this means is that characters with higher numbers take longer to level up, and characters currently on higher levels take longer to level up. For instance, Freddy on level 1 levels up after 25 XP, and Purple Guy levels up after 260. Freddy at level 20 levels up at 4015, and Purple Guy after 4250. For Negative levels take into account absolute value. Negative 1 will level up much quicker than negative 20. For every battle, however much XP the enemy gives you is added to each active character's next entry. Once next reaches the number determined by the formula, the character levels up. That's all for today. Have fun messing around with your character's stats, and let me know what you think I should cover next.